welcome to another four in a video. Uh, it's a very, very unusual one. Uh, so, as you can see, I'm not um, on my bike. I'm not doing any motorcycling activities. But this is uh, just kind of a part two of my um, vlog video about the foreigner. And uh, so today I'm so I'm on holiday at my house in Portugal and so I'm back home relaxing uh, enjoying the sun and the beach and the swimming pool but uh, there's also some chores to do and today it's all about the big garden that we have so you can see right behind me uh, this um, has been quite neglected for the last few years so I've uh, we left the house uh, eight years ago and we've only come back for, for, you know, for the summer holidays uh, but this is the garden you can see uh, all the way down there to the that the, the white building there that's the garage and uh, so it's been very very neglected uh, and it looks really horrible this used to be grass everywhere uh, but uh, well unfortunately we don't have the time uh, to do everything during uh, our summer holiday and there's always someone that comes around to just clean things up a bit but um, and take care of the trees but um, yeah that's it's it is what it is so these are all fruit trees you've got orange trees that big one there is figs we've got peaches here uh, we've got apples somewhere over there I'll show you to you in a minute uh, and uh, so on this side here which is what I'm going to do today this uh, part of the garden behind this fence is where we used to uh, grow vegetables and uh, raise a few animals uh, you can still see there there's an old shed there that's where we used to keep the chickens uh, there used to be a shed here where for ducks and so they would just run around free uh, in the grass but as you can see uh, the grass is too big and uh, my control for today is to kind of mow everything uh, mow everything out today uh, all the way down to the to the the wall down there the big wall so that's it um, this is our house here in Portugal and um, so when we come back uh, on holiday there's always a lot of work to do not just in the garden but also in the house so uh, let's crack on with it I've got the old uh, the old grass mower here ready to go and um, I'll see you guys in a minute As you can see, there are all these uh, dried branches. This is uh, it really annoys me because the person that we have that comes here to take care of the garden, what they do is they just dump everything anywhere, and and now that the the, um, the grass mower cannot just go straight ahead all the time, or because uh, of these things, it won't go. It will go through this, but um, I don't want to damage the blades or, or the machine itself. So, a bit of manual labour here getting all of this out of the way to that uh, to that corner over there near the wall and then uh, so there's a lot of work that needs to go on there but I'll use the strimmer to uh, to do this because there's a lot of uh, debris and branches and things under this grass here that I don't want to uh, that I don't want to work and I don't want to put the mower in there because I don't want to damage it as you can see there's quite a fair bit done already and uh, but there's still a fair bit more to go so we uh, are going to get rid of all that put it in that corner over there and crack on with the mower see you in a bit Yeah, they just tend to hide under the grass and I use the strimmer uh, because it's, it doesn't go as low as this cutting the grass I sometimes miss 
miss a few. So every year it's kind of a journey of discovery to see what's hiding under the grass. But uh, it's getting cleaner and cleaner, so uh, that's good news. So I still need to do all that back there and all the way down towards the house as well. So it's quite a bit chunk of work that's still uh, I still have ahead of me. So uh, I'm going to crack on with it. So uh, another stop, and this time for uh, kind of a maintenance reason. So as you can see, everything is very dry out here. And what the mower does, it's, it just not only cuts the tall grass, but it also kind of grinds it in small bits and spits them out to the side. And this creates this huge cloud of dust and bits of uh, grass in the, in the air. And that builds into the air filter, which is this bit over here. So what we need to do every now and then is just need to open this, take out the air filter, give it a good whack, get out of all the all the grass that's building in there, and then just try to get the thing back on again, like this. Sorry if the image is uh, not the best, but I'm trying to do everything so uh, on my own. So. Right, I need to I need to put the camera down for a bit. Camera on the ground. Like that. So uh, this is what I'm trying to do now. I'm trying to get the filter back. Filter cover back in place. And that's it, it just clips on like that. So we have to do this every now and then to uh, keep the air filter clean uh, and the airflow constant. So yep, that's it. Let's get back to work. Still a lot of work to be done. Right, so, so stop here to rest for a bit in the shade. Uh, that's my uh, neighbour's place over there, you can see the fence. But uh, you can see that covered quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of ground already and so like I said that that bit over there I'm gonna do it with the strimmer because of all the rubbish that's underneath the grass <coughs> excuse me and this is all that's left to do today this tiny little bit and so I'm just gonna crack on with the mower it's very simple to operate really it looks it's a big old thing it's quite heavy but uh, so yeah it's got a petrol engine I don't know the exact uh, uh, figures for <coughs> excuse me sorry it's all the dust the exact figures of engine size power and all but uh, yeah it's a big old thing and very easy to operate you can see there's this red lever here we need to keep this pressed down as we start the engine by pulling this rope here this string and then that's the speed keep it on maximum speed just to get things done quickly and this thing here is the uh it's not the throttle well in a way it's the throttle because the wheels have their own propulsion from the engine so if i leave this up i have to uh, push it myself but if i pull this down then the gears in the liver the, the wheels they just uh start uh, moving the um the mower forward so it's very easy i just need to steer it most of the time uh, and then <coughs> if i want to reverse I just uh, let go of that lever, the black one, and can reverse the thing. <coughs> Sorry, it's all this dust. And yeah, I just release it and then uh, I just pull it again when I want to go forwards. So this, as you can see, there's still a lot of... <coughs> Sorry, still a lot of rubbish here. I don't know what this is, where this came from. 
It's going to get this over there. <coughs> and more sticks. I don't know where these came from, but these are really, really nasty. Uh, well, the blade can take care of them, but uh, I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to risk damaging the blade or anything. And so I need to do this kind of clean-up job before I start doing uh, this end of the this end of the the rear garden, all the way down here to this brick wall. And on the other side, you can see that there's a road right over there and right on the other side of the road is the river and all the way down in the distance is uh Avail, the city that's about two kilometers three kilometers away from here and this is where i've lived uh almost all of my life since i was 10 years old not in this house but uh in this in this area so i grew up here i went to school in Arvaid. I uh, went to university there and so I'm effectively, although I lived the first 10 years of my life in three continents in I don't know how many countries, um, but or well, two continents rather, I don't know how many countries, three, four countries, this is where this area here is where I've been living since I was 10 years old, so uh, effectively I consider this to be my, uh, my hometown and this is where I'm from really. So yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of work to be done. I'm going to crack on with the rest of it. Uh, it's probably around 11 o'clock in the morning. Once I'm done, off to the swimming pool, off to a big barbecue that we have going on today with family and friends, and just uh, chill out by the swimming pool uh, the rest of the day. So let's crack on with it. So right, as you can see, uh, it's almost done out of the back, and but it's getting too hot now. Uh, I just checked, it's about 34, 35 degrees centigrade, and it's really, really hot down here. So I just, uh, I'm just gonna stop for the day, come back later in the evening before I start watering everything. Got these uh, watering things, I don't know how you call these in English, sprinklers maybe, I don't know. So we have these all the way down to here from uh, top of the garden there. So this is mostly for the garden and for the trees, the fruit trees. So we've got some oranges here and so we've got this pipe and there's an engine, an electrical uh, kind of engine over there down at the bottom that, uh, that it's a pump that pumps the water from, uh, from underground and just uh, pumps it to these sprinklers and there's a, a big hose over, over there as well that we use to um, wash the, uh, the back the back patio and everything and do mostly do all the cleaning but uh, it's its main function for that uh, water pump electrical water pump is to pump water to, the, to these sprinklers and water this, this thing uh, as you can see everything is very dry now uh, this used to be green grass before uh, and that's over there, the, thing, the bit that I'm mowing, it used to be where we used to grow vegetables and, uh, and, and everything. So it's, uh, it's really, really sad to see things uh, as they are, but we only come here once a year for a couple of weeks. Uh, well, not once a year, but this is a longer period. And then uh, we just go back and come the odd weekend, uh, we fly down here. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's in the window, you can't do these things really. You just try to keep to... Uh, maintain things as good as well as possible but yeah it's it's it really breaks my heart to see the garden like this and um, because it really is it's one of my uh, it's one of the things that i really enjoy i really enjoyed doing here before was uh just taking care of the garden and uh and mrs foreigner would do do the animals that's what she uh that's what she enjoyed but yeah that's the way life is and in a couple of weeks almost uh week and a half we had to go back to England and uh, to our daily life to our work and uh, that's it anyway 
that's it for today uh i hope you've enjoyed the video and um i hope to see you on my next one i i have a lot of uh i have a lot of footage um that i did from the trip down we we uh, came on the gt this year uh ferry from portsmouth to santander and then from santander to to our house we 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 rode the bike and uh so there's a ton of footage of that uh, there's a, a, a trip that I've planned with uh, with a friend to go all the way up to the mountains. Uh, it's going to be later this week. Well, today's Thursday, so it's going to be tomorrow, either tomorrow or Monday. We're going to we still have to work that out, but we're going to the to Serra de Estrela, which is the highest mountain in the country at 2,000 meters uh, high, and we're going to go there. So there's going to be footage of that as well. So a lot of videos coming up soon. But uh, yeah, well, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope to see you on my next one. Ta-ra.